September. Oh my goodness, the second, no less. I'm going to be your host tonight. I'm Dana Durnford. This should be live, but unfortunately, I'm not worthy. I'm not human like everybody else. I've been denied the ability to go live on Rumble and YouTube without the democratic way by deceit and deception and dishonesty. And so what we'll do is we'll do a lot of post-production. You can call in post-show at any time. We'll include your narrative. I remind everybody to subscribe. Click bells and stuff like that. Notifications. It might actually work. I don't think it will. Lots of protesters on the go. They're protesting the Fukushima Tritium instead of the uranium and plutonium. Let's jump into it. They're not protesting the melted reactors. No! No! Why do that? That's silly, Dana. Okay, let's get it on. The protest in Tritium! Bless them for their good intentions, but... Uh, public relations firms have won, right? That's, that's a big win. There's something soothing about that sound, isn't it? Like, it doesn't... It's not really like a bad background sound. All right, so... So they're protesting, and the, st the official story is Tritium is all that got out of these, whatever you want to call them things. They're no longer reactors, obviously. The, the buildings were officially 190 feet tall and 150 feet wide. If you're not familiar, and even if you are, I want you to consider how big and wide these buildings are. That top piece you see there is the bottom bar of the Kevlar sarcophagus frame. And so they've done all this with cranes because it's lethal doses. So if it's lethal, lethal doses, the building doesn't look too bad, right? So how bad is, are these? And so the bottom part you see there is this part here. And that, that top part there is taller than the two buildings if you stack them on top of each other. And the only reason they left them there was to hoodwink you and pretend that they actually had the fuel out. But obviously, this should have been stripped down. There is nothing left. In Reactor 3, there really is not nothing left. So put this contraption over it with the homeless and remote control cranes, and then they're pretending they're in a building that actually doesn't even exist. They've done the same thing with the Reactor 3, and they successfully hoodwinked the entire planet with the help of the world's media universities, academic scientists, with no descending voices whatsoever. And that's how that worked. Uh, the plumes covered the planet in almost all the studies in about 20 days. That one's 19.5 days from the Norwegian Institute of Air Research. The French study uh, is based on 30 days. I'm going to get you up to 20 days and we'll stop at 20. That's 20 days right here. So it's, it's covered in 20 days too. And it's not bananas and potato chips and walking in the sunshine or anything like that whatsoever. Uh, an official demonstrates equipment for sampling the water to analyze the concentrations of radioactive tritium for discharging before. Now, you, I just showed you the buildings. I'm pretty sure you realize the buildings don't even exist. They don't even exist. The future of the global nuclear industry depends on there being seen to be a final solution to the problems posed by Fukushima. The International Atomic Energy Agency, this is really important, is an organization devoted to the propagation of safe and civil nuclear energy. Safe and civil nuclear energy. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, I forgot to put in the highlighted. Japan is its third largest source of funds. So Japan throws more money into the National Atomic Energy in almost every country. 
What is it? And IAEA is telling you there's only tritium coming out of there. That's quite the revelation. Let me just bring up that depiction. Just to make sure there's no way anybody can misinterpret it. Because the industry will try to misinterpret it for you. And then use that against me and say, see? Nobody's worried about Fukushima. Only you, Dana. You've heard that a lot, so it's just... Me being cynical and a few burps and a few other things. Japan is its third largest source of funds. Well, the International Atomic Energy Agency was created by UN. UN was created in the ashes of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It was renamed, you know, from a previous globalist organization known as um, the League of Nations and changed itself to the United Nations after Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So Rahm Emanuel wrote an article. Uh, he's uh, an ambassador United, from the United States to Japan. And uh, he's uh, Rahm Emanuel. You can see his name up there. Uh, he was the mayor of Chicago, dictator of Chicago for a very long time. And that place is still hell. He destroyed everybody's lives. Uh, he's a um, sadistic creature, and that's why he's an ambassador, I guess. Handling of the water contrasts with China, Chinese handling of COVID. So they use it to attack China, despite the fact the actual reality of the story. So he, he's going to deny, and I apologize, I only showed these pictures a lot lately. Because I, I really, you know, what's a better picture? Chernobyl is just a fraction of either one of these. Chernobyl didn't have pupils. I'm not laughing, I'm trying not to scream. He said, my return this week to Fukushima region was set to be both a diplomatic mission However, given China's baseless political and economical actions against Japan, baseless, that's considered baseless. And this is how they're doing it. They're pretending that doesn't exist. Despite the fact that everybody should be saying, hey, wait a second, you know, the buildings are actually gone. Nobody's saying it. Really, you know, you're, it's li literally like you're living in a twilight zone. You're going to stand shoulder to shoulder with Japan, Japan, Rahm Emanuel, one of the most degenerate creatures we've ever come across as a mayor, now as an ambassador. Hope to see firsthand the progress made in Fukushima, hear stories from the victims, from the residents, he says, in the nuclear wasteland. He had taken to ensure the safety and well-being of his people. I have no doubt the seafood I eat. I wish a crocodile would eat Rami Manuel. In the aftermath of the 2011 catastrophe, Japan could have acted with expediency, deception, and secrecy. Wait a second, that's what they did. <laughs> They're pretending that never happened. That's why he framed it. My apologies. Well, that's right. I can edit that out if I want to now. My return this week to Fukushima region was said to be both a diplomatic mission. I'm not going to read that. It's, it's an insult to you. And I apologize. I didn't write the article. I'm just showing it to you. So Korea's worry about Fukushima water. Well, the South Koreans can worry all they want, but the government calls the shots and they're pro-nuclear and uh, they never stopped dumping it how, how are we worried about how do we ever get to the point where we're worried about what might happen instead of being terrified of what has already happened how, how do we get that disconnected yeah your media and your universities are are useless to us alive so uh, it's pretty hard to comprehend a building to the left uh, blew up, right? Cut fire, cut fire, blew up, blew up, cut fire. Apparently that's like 
edited the concept that the average person can't comprehend. They look at the picture, see what are you talking about? Dana looks pretty good to me. All of these wonderful people, and they don't know what the building looks like. Bravo, media. Bravo. You surpassed all expectations for covering up. I mean, such a catastrophic event, and now you turn it into a sideshow circus. Where you pretend the buildings didn't even catch fire, let alone blow up. Japan says the water from the wrecked. Wrecked. Like, you, like you got to make up your own word for these buildings that are that destroyed, right? The safe and if began releasing into the Pacific Ocean, where all the whales and birds and animals are emaciated. China, who knows the buildings are destroyed, if China doesn't know the buildings destroyed, China China should be invaded immediately. Because there's no way they can win an invasion. Ban Japanese to Jap seafood. No, this is China, Taiwan, South Korea, and Japan are working together to manipulate the consensus of the Asian and this is a big population. The Asian. You know, Indonesia, Malaysia, archipelagos. There's a lot of people we're talking about. And so if they don't get their own way, they'll do a terrorist attack, and the media will just scream at that, and this will disappear to the lexicon. So it's important that we, because the headlines are front page, it's important we stay on this because we might not get another opportunity soon if this disappears, right, from the conversations. And that's what they're going to ultimately do, just stop reporting on it. But you see, the reporting is you want to drive the conversation so everybody that looks at it sees the word tritium and goes back to uh, bonkers land and forgets their moral obligations to their loved ones and the species and the future generations. Though stressing it does not approve of it and banning the import of seafood off from waters off Japan. But Japan's, you know, fish migrate past this. So it's not like it's a lethal dose immediately, but it's bioaccumulating. And so they stop reproducing eggs. And by and by, there's all males, no females at best to survive for the near future before they disappear. So when you get to that stage, you stop reproducing, right? And that's what nuclear does, it sterilizes both sexes. But it's four to a hundred times more harmful to the female population to the, than it is to the male population of all species. The stupid, the stupid, literally stupid administration for the South Korean government has said it's seen no scientific problem with the water release, but it's going to ban the food off the coastline. But, but it sees no scientific problem with the release. It doesn't approve of it. It's banning the import of the food from the waters, which it didn't because it's one of the biggest seafood producers the whole time that they alleged that... Let me see if I can find this, suppose. They're naughty, naughty people at best. Even on a good day, they're pretty naughty. So, like, the International Atomic Energy Agency went to Korea. Like, they emphasized the release of the treated water is a national decision by the government of Japan. The International Atomic Energy Agency's report is not a recommendation nor an endorsement of the policy. You have South Korea coming out saying it's like 3 grams of sugar or 2.2 grams of tritium. And that's, don't worry, because it's all in 1,000 tanks. And then when it comes to seafood, uh, that's not it. Might never find that. Uh, apparently, South Korea's president has now declared war against fake news, which is what they're doing. Uh, so the truth is not allowed to exist, basically. I can't find it. Um, 
I got it there. I just can't remember where exactly I put it. But because our other hard drive went down, a lot of stuff is missing. I just got blanks where there should be the depictions, the documentation. So let's go back to the headlines. The headlines, here we go. So Korean government has said she's no scientific problem to release. But President Yoon Suk Yeol, which was a former prosecutor, is vehemently pro nuclear, has led to a campaign to ease the public's concern and encourage the consumption of the seafood. And he stopped at a major fisheries market to shop and have lunch. But, like, this is the maps of the radioactive fallout, for instance, after just 20 days. I'm just looking for the rest of that one. And, uh, here we go. I think that's the plutonium model. Just let me check. Plutonium-237, then that's the plutonium model here. I'm going to ask you in a second. By the way, the Neptunium-239 decays to plutonium-239. It's a bye-bye species. Plutonium-230, but there is a plutonium-239 dispersal based upon TEPCO's numbers. That The model to your top left is uh, 20 days, and the model to the right is 21 days. So Korean government says see no scientific problem to release. That's not what I was looking for. Uh, more than 7 in 10, which is 70%, have concerns about the impact, but then they say 60% were reluctant to eat the seafood. The, the meltdown's been going on for 12 years, so this is how good they are, the public, your, your news and trust the science and trust the media. Watch the media. Wah! Watch the media. Young disapproval ratings rose to 60%. 60% of the country hates his guts, which I'm surprised is that. Should be a lot more than that. He pledged $60 million for propaganda consumption and vowed to tackle what he called fake news about the releases. So anybody that's trying to show the truth or have a conversation, they're going to be considered targets. And so uh, we want to sue Japan for blocking me on YouTube and Rumble. I'm not sure how we're going to pull that off, but we need to sue Japan and start the lawsuit against them so the media has to report on it and stuff like that. we got to come after them for doing what they're doing, and that's exactly what I'm doing from here on out. The government has also launched a voucher program offering 20,000 won. $15 to shoppers who buy seafoods. And their, their currency is so friggin' stupid, eh? The way they do their currency. Like a $1 US is equal to 1,321.1501. Always gotta make shit difficult, right? Rahm Emanuel blasts China for the Japan's seafood band. He's such a despicable creature. He never opened his friggin' pie hole when 55 countries banned food from 14 prefectures, did he? And he's buying food in Japan, but he's not going to buy it from that farmer growing food in a nuclear wasteland right alongside of one ton bags, is he? You went and U.S. Ambassador to Japan, Ram Genocidal, uh, what he'd done to Chicago was horrifying, eh? Well, this is what we come across all day. Japan is threatened, threatened, to seek a reversal of Chinese food ban by filing a complaint with U.N. So who, who runs the planet? The U.N. If South Korea can't ban food from a nuclear wasteland, 
then uh, Japan is not a, or South Korea is not a country, right? It's just a figurative country on a, under the banner of this disgusting, despicable, meddling organization, which is a military industrial complex, 195 militaries, United Nations. Japan battles backlash after releasing wastewater from Fukushima nuclear plant. Battles backlash. Backlash. You're growing food in a nuclear wasteland. It was banned by 55 countries for over a decade and almost half your country. And it should never have been removed. The restriction should never be removed. Nuclear doesn't go away. They're actually harvesting it right alongside of one-ton bags of radiations in a nuclear wasteland where no one lives. Try to wrap your mind around the madness of that story. TEPCO. TEPCO. Which is a figurative, again, the word figurative, corporation because it was nationalized after the meltdowns because it immediately went bankrupt, which meant the Japanese government runs or the biggest influence in it. And because it's on a stock exchange, that's the route it has to take in order to be eligible to buy stocks. And now nuclear companies should never be on the stock exchanges because that's how come you can't get rid of them, right? Because there's no, there's no accountability. The worst can happen is, is a fine, but because they don't pay taxes, state level or federal, they put that in offshore accounts and if they get a fine and they take the money instead of paying taxes, they take a small percentage of them and pay their billion dollar fines. So they got, so they got ten billion dollars in offshore accounts that, instead of paying fines or paying taxes, state level, le uh, or federal, they put it in offshore accounts. And so you know, the big nuclear companies, they have an accident, and then they say, well, we're going to locate a billion dollars to stomping out anybody that's complaining. And how how do people like me stand up against something like that? Very, 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 very carefully, right? And they're in a position just to snuff you out, make a snuff film of it, and enjoy it, and parties, and you play films of me being snuffed out. So that's how they are. That's who they really are in real life. They're just cowards that should have been aborted at birth. Well, the Japanese embassy in China reporting phone harassment and protest. Well, why wouldn't you protest the death of your planet and 8 million species? But protest in tritium is uh, shocking. International Atomic Energy Agency and Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority approved the safety of the dump, but they don't have the authority to poison everybody's planet. This is what they've already done. It's disturbing the dis disconnect we see in humanity. This was from the diplomat, by the way. The International Atomic Energy Agency publicly shared their scientific finding on the removal concentrations of the remaining radioactive isotope tritium. That infuriates me when I hear narratives like that, right? How can anybody suggest tritium? Because all the models we got are not looking for tritium. I've never seen a plume model for tritium, by the way. And I'm supposed to uh, bring you a depiction. Just give me a second and uh, pretend I know what I'm doing today. There we go. Maybe we'll get lucky. Here we go. So, this was the Xenon 133 at a million becquerels a square meter. This was a study of 20 million particles per liter. The species can't survive that, for goodness sakes. Per liter. Not tritium. But, and if you find the iodine, if, like, if you find, and you, they did, 20 million. 
card equals of iodine 131, you should have found 20, um, 10 times more iodine 132 in that sample, and 30 times more iodine 133 in that sample, and 31 times more iodine 129, which is what he did out of an Ottawa study. And that the iodine 131, which is brutally affected, effective at ionizing and radiating the thyroid glands of all the species, and your loved ones, and your friends, and your families, and your pets, you know, all the species, us included. But the 132 and 133, which comes in much larger amounts, is nine times more effective at ionizing and radiating the thyroid gland, which means you're producing radioactive hormones in all the species, and they're not going to reproduce. And we've seen this in studies in the 50s and 60s in, in ocean testing where major migratory species didn't show up over the next couple of years. And the ones that did show up, there was this incredible disparage of their health. And so just this type of radi radioactive fallout, this was from Ottawa, Canada, just that type of radioactive fallout, uh, 220 million atoms per liter, that because it never goes away. This was an Ottawa, Canada study at the capital of Canada. Is enough to saturate the thyroid glands of everything, us included. And you produce massive amounts of radioactive hormones. But you're, you're also, you're talking about, it's not just iodines that ends up in the thyroid glands. All the gammas will, and some other isotopes will certainly end up there. So any, any gamma will end up in the thyroid. The iodine, they just use that to manipulate you. It's important, though. Don't get me wrong. It's a very terrible isotope. But your thyroid is making isotopes for your pituitary gland, which stores them for later, uh, you know, like on-demand uses. It's so important. None of these studies are talking about tritium. They're talking about the real isotopes, and it, and it happened. And so to suggest that nothing got out when I what I just showed you, you know, you really should consider the things I'm saying because you're not going to get an opportunity again. Since the start of the release last week, the concentration of tritium being checked on a daily basis. But what about? That never goes away for 15 million years, but you're not even going to acknowledge that? Shame on humanity for producing people like you. TEPCO, TEPCO, which is not an authority, is not a decommissioned authority. It has no right to be at the site, let alone in charge. It has no right. And instead of blaming the nuclear industry, you're going to blame TEPCO. And that's what they're up to. TEPCO has reported TEPCO. TEPCO. We won't let anybody else test independent samples or take independent samples. Has reported the amount of tritium has remained below the detection limit of 10 becquels per liter. And that's now the official story? You're just going to take, you're going to take the criminal's word and ignore all the victims and call yourself a journalist? Excuse me, or a human or anything else, which obviously you're not. Chinks have maintained the Japs have not proven the true accuracy of the data and the contaminated water, the completeness and effectiveness of the monitoring program. Listen, if China doesn't know the buildings are destroyed, who does? How can anybody not know what the building looks like? There's four melted reactors and eight fuel pools that melted down. It's 100% lost of all of it. And each fuel pool had around six reactor cores in it. There, it like, see, because think of the inventory. Don't think of as the reactor that was running, but just think of the inventory. Even a thousand years later, if it melts down, it's the exact same as the current reactor melting down. See, the emissions are two billion times more toxic than industrial poison, and so it's so dangerous and such unfathomable tiny amounts that you basically can't even see a lot of the times with a microscope. But, but this is the science. This is the science. Trust the science. And the science that they're going to feed to you 
has been so corrupted and denigrated, it has no longer any thing in common with the actual true self. Japan's warning will bring the case to the World Trade Organization if China don't poison everybody with their foods. And they've done that to uh, Taiwan, right? Or South Korea. South Korea won eventually the appeal. But here you got just a corporation able to poison the entire country on the drop of a on the drop of a coin. Japan has warned that it will. Tokyo says the storage tanks will be dismantled to make room for the decommissioning projects. And namely to figure out what to do with 880 tons of nuclear fuel melted at the bottom of the three damaged reactors. It's four reactors are completely destroyed and gone and should have been razzed to the ground. And we can't get them to tell the truth or even acknowledge that the truth exists. We won't show any pictures of the, the missing, of the original pictures. So even if you show the old picture like that, then you, it's pretty easy to determine the building doesn't exist, right? Now to claim 800 tons at the bottom, the, the tonnage was thrown right out of the building. It was ejected right out of the building. So it can't be at the bottom of the building when it's tossed right out of the building. But let me show you, let me go back, walk backwards. The helicopters couldn't get near the fuel pools originally. So they can't get rid of the fuel pools originally because they had a major events, see? And you won't be get, able to get near it for a billion years. Not going to turn the fury dust. Radiation is streaming into the atmosphere at number four fuel boiled dry. Well, like, that, that kind of a narrative is so deceptive. It can't boil dry in a fire. It, it's basically going to detonate. And if you look at pictures of reactors four, then that's... Let me show you a picture, because otherwise... It doesn't exist. Here's the original pictures of Reactor 4 and 3. I show you them because they're so visible, right? So Reactor 4 to the left, does it look like a boiled dry, or does it look like it was a catastrophic event? That's the only question I'll ever need to ask you. So smoke and steam is rising from all four reactor units, not just 1, 2, and 3. And in, let me come into the frame for you. Up there is the common spin fuel pool. These pictures were released in 2020. I'm the only person that ever come out and said, hey, have a look at this. And these were from a very high, these were high quality pictures from a drone. And so what you, when I show you these pictures, is I'm zoomed in. But it's only when you zoom way in that you realize everything is pixelated, including up there the common spin fuel pool. But why, oh why, oh why, did you pixelate the entire common spent for fuel pool? Which, yeah, it was very beyond reactor four and reactor three. And they, they even pixelated the stack. That stack turns out to be lethal doses near the bottom of it. There's around 25 sievers. Three sievers is a lethal dose. Renewed chain reaction feared at the storage spent fuel pools. That might explain why it's all redacted. And if it's true, because it has such a large inventory, it's at 6,375 spent fuel assemblies. That's almost a ton each. 6,375 tons. So when they claimed that there's only 800 tons, they're refusing to acknowledge, first off, there's up to 40 times the amount of inventories as Chernobyl, and that you're talking about just in the one common spent fuel building, around 6,375 tons. And it's okay to call it tons, even though it's shy, it's 1,800 pounds. The assemblies are the fuel racks. Hold, each assembly is uh, 100 
fuel rods. Each fuel rod is 12 feet long and it weighs 18 pounds, so 1,800 pounds. So short of a ton, but what you got to realize is the fuel pools are actually stuffed, all of them, including the common spent fuel pool, with decades of reactor cores. We actually have the evidence of that and we have covered it pretty regularly. So why did it redact the reactor four? Uh, sorry, com why did it react common spent fuel pool? And just to give you some context, when you up in the top of it up here, that's transport truck containers. That'll give you some context of how big this thing actually is. It's around 10 million pounds that they emit to. But like, let's call it 6,000 tons. Just to be fair or true to their, their narrative. Their, and you know their narrative is going to be deceitful and dishonest, disingenuous and a threat to humanity for a billion years. And there is also the long-term issue of the nuclear sludge generated from the purification treatment process known as the ALPS. I'm going to bring in the ALPS system so you can comprehend. Let me bring in the ALPS. Here we go. There we go. I'm back in business, hopefully. I screw that up, did I? Oh, got away with it. So the ELP system in 2014, three years, one month later, had yet to function. Not yet to function reliably, it has yet to function. And the reason was because it gathers up so much radiation in a couple of minutes, you can never get near it again. The Three, three, 2014 in August, two, uh, three years, six months later, France's Arriva filtration system is the same thing, had yet to be used. So the ELP system wasn't used, the Arriva system three years later wasn't used, and to suggest, and then he built all the tanks in 2013, so what happened to all the water before that? They didn't have any tanks, see? Eh? Where did all that water get stored? <laughs> it didn't. July the 29th, 2014, the ice wall or the groundwater bypass operation didn't work. In 2013, they failed to build a billion dollar fence, stopped the radiation, which is literally the stupidest thing imaginable, thinking you can build a fence to stop the radiation. There's like a bunch of sheep running around or something. The ice wall didn't work. And they alleged, and why would you build an ice wall anyway? And that they hired uh, 260,000 people. And then the money that they located to it, when you divide 260,000 people into that, works out to $1,200 each if you don't build a wall. And why would you build an ice wall? The Siri system, which is probably one of the stupidest scams I've ever heard, uh, because it only got mentioned a few times and we've never heard of it after, right? But allegedly, that was going to filter the cesium from the water. You can put 200 million atoms in a head of a needle, you can't see it. How are you going to filter out a million cesium and a million uranium and a million plutonium when they're all the same size? 200 million on the head of a needle, you can't see it. Let's be realistic here. You can't filter it. It doesn't work that way. You can't filter that. That's what they're claiming, and everybody is letting them get away with it. The plant has already released enormous amounts. There is an understatement of a billion years. Enormous amounts of highly contaminated water directly into the ocean. So Korea, the, that administration called them incompetent. A Jap professor said a thousand years from now, the contaminated water from Fukushima may be still entering the Pacific Ocean. Now, maybe it'll never stop. 
these are melter reactors. And the one, the one and two has gone China syndrome, as far as we can tell, with the reactor cores. Reactor two, the fuel pool and the reactor core burnt constantly for several days, and then it went down to the earth. The earth split open in six places. See, at one sievert per hour means we're not talking about tritium anymore, see? Twelve years after the Fukushima nuclear disaster, the authorities have started pumping wastewater from the plant into the ocean. Like, so they show you that picture, right? But they don't put this stability they're talking about that doesn't exist anymore and should have been razzed to the ground because there's nothing left. They only left it there so they can put a contraption on and pretend they're inside and get in the fuel pool out of it, but the building doesn't even exist anymore. Spam call filter firm is rare beneficiary of Fukushima Furol. So the corporations are using a filter to, to filter out the Chinese. It's chi a lot of uh, citizens in China was encouraged um, to yell at the Japanese officials. Uh, but see, and this was all meant to distract you from the issue which is the buildings actually melted down. The buildings are actually gone. And that pretending only tritium's got editor is not productive. Um, so anyway, we'll see everybody on Sunday show. Uh, I put up an extra show today uh, because this conversation is active and we need the world to have a conversation. If we don't put out some narrative of the truth, then that narrative will never exist. And I'll regret that when this opportunity passes. Have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow. Extra shout out for Suzanne S. who donated 500. And uh, that was a big deal for me and I appreciate it. Update everybody tomorrow on Sunday. Have a great day, great night. Hug the ones you with. God bless.